hair my Libra stories to May generals. So if you're watching me on TikTok, I will be putting these on TikTok from now on. I can't put my Patreon link on TikTok yet. Um, I didn't I didn't realise that you have to have 1,000 followers. I think I'm up to 600. I'm new to TikTok, so I'm just getting used to it all. Um, so if you watch me on there, hit the YouTube link in my bio. And then you can find in the description box below all my links to my website um, for one-on-ones and the patreon link for the extended reading if this resonates with you i'm gonna jump straight in youtubers you know where to go hit the bottom one hit the more button get the description box hit the patreon go and get you extended so may the month of may for my libras in the Patreon, it is a it's a, a deeper reading, so we'll be clarifying every card on the table, but we're just going to do a general for the collective for my Libras. So let's have a look. So we've got the main energy, we've got the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles is, I'm trying to stay out of the sun. The sun is absolutely beaming today and I'm sat in working. The Page of Pentacles is about some kind of communication. It's trustworthy communication, whether that be between you and another person, business, that type of thing. He is holding pentacles, it could be finances. Um, so Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. So you started off with the same card as Gemini actually started off with, which is like the successful self-employment. Um, it's wanting to kind of live rather than exist. It's wanting to have like enough in the bank to not have to kind of sit in fear, or especially over finances. But the Nine of Pentacles is also about feeling safe and secure in whatever area it is in life. What's crossing that energy is the Magician. So the Magician is Aries energy to myself, Taurus to a lot of other readers. I am an intuitive, so I'll go with what I want. Uh, the Magician is Alchemy. It's about turning a negative into a positive. It's manifesting. Your challenge is to manifest what you want out of life. It's to get into that energy, you know, use this Scorpio full moon energy, which is about letting go, let go of insecurities, especially in regards to your manifestational skills. The both yellow cards, which is taking you to your solar plexus, maybe try and make more decisions here rather than here. Why is this coming around now? Because we've got a tower. So it feels like you've been through a tower moment. Scorpio energy there, we do have that Scorpio full moon energy. You know, so that could be affecting you right now. You may have just been through a tower moment, felt like everything was just falling down. You may still be in that energy right now. In the past, we do have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Again, there's a feeling of not feeling safe and secure in finances or whether it, like it could be in a family environment, property, you know, that type of energy. It, it's feeling like we're not blessed. We're not getting anywhere. At present, though, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. I love this. It looks like we're actually running more on finances there, Sans. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles is the divine saying, you know, that you're planting the seed in order to have, like, abundance. Abundance in life, whether that be in love, whether it be in... Uh, finances, you know, it's security. It's about security. And this is about you manifesting security. What's coming up forward? We've got the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is about disarming people who have kind of taken control of you in the past or coming in and they're trying to take your light away from you now. So I do feel like you will be put in a situation in the month of May where there's a need to stand up for yourself. There's a need to... Um, you know, kind of disarm people. If people are chatting crap, you know, that type of thing. The tongue is the sword. It's to say it back. You know, you, you're taking your armour back. These people will walk away because they don't win. So there could be, like, triggers coming up, especially in the Scorpio energy. We're still in Mercury retrograde, and that can bring issues back from the past. Your power is the two of pentacles in reverse. I kind of want to say as well, Libra, don't be spending too much uh in the sense of on crap that you don't want i'm bad for amazon so if i've got something on my mind i'll go on amazon and i buy stuff that i don't even need you know um and it's not to juggle situations your power is not to juggle situations and i don't know why i want to say juggle situations uh maybe don't take too much on board the outside influence to that is a wheel of fortune so you your luck is changing especially after a turbulent time especially after like this tower energy sorry i've just dropped a card two cards um yeah your power is 
it's to turn your look around especially with that magician energy turn something from a negative into a positive in the hopes and fears we've got the hangman so we are in taurus right now but you fear that it's just going to take longer than it, you want it to you know but in a sense it's used this down period if things are going a little bit slow right now and you're still kind of in this shake up like not feeling as safe and secure as you'd, you'd like to be it's take this time to kind of sit and contemplate he's hanging himself upside down in order to receive the epiphany moment so i feel like these ideas coming in that can like benefit you especially in the form of success you've just got to kind of don't rush because your outcome is the seven of swords in reverse i like that the seven of swords is that it's like that cheating lying stealing betrayal type energy it's in reverse you're not allowing anything to steal your thunder you're not allowing anything to steal so the, there's definitely like an insecure energy libra um I, I feel like you're ready to cut the cords to certain people it could be certain circles of people or you know that type of thing but i feel like you're planting seeds right now in the month of may for something's coming to come into fruition around july so I am going to get a bit of clarification before I go into the extended for yourself. I want to look at the manifestation being a challenge. Yeah, you, you're still guarded because of the past. And yeah, that it's okay. But it's okay to be vulnerable as well. You don't like showing your vulnerabilities. You may be feeling quite vulnerable at the moment. But going forward, you're taking your power back and you're disarming. You're disarming. So... Maybe a, a certain situation or a person has made you feel vulnerable. Uh, maybe your finances at the moment are making you feel vulnerable. You know what I mean? So you're a little bit guarded on that, keeping things to yourself with that. I want to look at the tower. Yeah, you've definitely had the tower. I do feel like you're coming out of that because now we've got stability, harmony and flow. So you're realising that things are starting to flow in, but there's definitely a fear of loss. There's a fear of losing what you're accumulating. I want to look at what happened. We've got avoidance and a stalemate. So in the past, there was something you were avoiding. I kind of feel like you knew that. You knew what it was, but you've been waiting. You've got this hangman energy. There's been a stalemate. Things haven't gone as quick as you really wanted it to. Yeah, because in in the past, there's been you've been stuck in this energy of a lack and a suffering. Yeah, you know, it's definitely about cutting the cord. You've been limiting yourself on fears so you've been putting limitations on yourself be careful that you haven't been letting other people put limitations on yourself because when we allow that you've got to think when other people say no you can't do that remember you're waiting for some kind of breakthrough epiphany moment when other people say no you can't do that that's risky that's happening that's their limits that's not yours they've already put their limits on themselves so i feel like you need, it's about going up against yourself and the limitations that you're putting upon yourself the juggling energy, yeah, it's the isolating thoughts. You go inside your head and then you've got all this overthinking energy. What shall I say? What shall I do? I feel, you know, it's pulled down the shutters. I do feel like your power is to sometimes like maybe have a little bit of time out. Um, there's a wheel of fortune coming in. Don't be closed off to it. Don't be too guarded to it. You know, don't be resistant. I got magnets in my head when I saw that card then. But you know, when you put the magnets together and they push each other apart, um, we can do that with our manifestations if we don't truly believe that we're worthy of them. So there's definitely like a self-worth type energy. And the Seven of Swords, on top of the Seven of Swords, we've got passion and chemistry. Whether it be passion about yourself, passion about what you're doing, or whether it be another person, you know, you've got passion. It's coming out with some kind of chemistry. But there's still some kind of lack and doubt within yourself. Again, I'm getting that self-sabotage. In the month of May, this is about you like confronting that. And I do feel like you will do it because you've got the Ace of Water coming out as well, past his Cancer Scorpio energy there. And when I said you're going into the month of July with something, that is like, you know, it's partly cancer season. The Ace of Water is your cup runneth over. It, it's love, it's peace. And that's what you're going towards. So in the extended, I'm going to be digging a lot deeper and finding out exactly what you've been limiting yourself. Okay? Mwah. Bye.